What is up guys, welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. I've got the chauffeur right here, my fiance. No, I'm messing, but um, she's driving the car right now. We're actually gonna be picking up some equipment slash PVC pipe um, for the mud truck project that we're doing. This is kind of gonna be like a complete DIY stock suspension, old rusty truck, turn it into a mud truck type of deal. The best that we can. It's not gonna be a perfect truck, it's gonna be a fun truck. So we're gonna go into Menards here, we're gonna grab some PVC and make our own custom snorkel kit for this mud truck. Well, we just got out of Menards after buying all of these supplies I think I need for this DIY snorkel kit. It came out to be $121.28, I think it was about what she said. Not bad, but when we walked out, I'm like, I told my fiance Reagan, I'm like, I could have I could have bought an actual snorkel kit, <laughs> except for a first-gen Dodge, there's probably not a whole lot of options out there, so I probably would have had to resort to making my own anyhow. So we're gonna get back to the house, and uh, not sure exactly what all we're gonna do in this video. I might actually make this the snorkel kit install video, but we'll see. My fiance is gonna be picking her truck up here. This is her her pickup truck. It's an 0124 valve. It's a pretty cool truck. She's gonna be taking it home so she can, uh, well, not our home, this is our home, to my other place, my parents' place, because we're gonna, she's gonna do some tinkering around on this thing in the shop over there. This is Project Cummins Mud Truck. This is going to be the play truck, the thing that we send through all the, the big mud puddles and we basically just act like a kid and have fun with. So that's the purpose of this truck, that's all it's for. It was a rust bucket in terms of the body. Frame's good though, axles are good, transfer case is good, four wheel drive and everything works good. Only downside is the body rust, which is fine because it doesn't matter. Here's the engine bay and what we're gonna be doing first is taking off this intake. I already got that loosened up. We're gonna be getting this big box out of here and then what we're gonna be doing is putting our hole through this side fender to fit that four inch pipe and then uh, it should look pretty good. Now let me piece everything together temporarily so you can at least see the effect of what we're trying to do. Okay guys, so this is obviously not assembled perfectly. It's not the final design, but this is a concept. Now of course this is gonna go this further end. I can't really point to it, but that further end is gonna go into the fender almost to sit flush up against the truck. And then this is just gonna be up here and um, at least more out of way. And we're actually gonna have this angled in towards like that. So it's more out of the way of the tires, throwing mud and water towards it at least a little bit. Um, to try to protect it the best that we can. We might actually put some screen on there or something too, just to keep it a little bit more protected. But we'll see once we get into the design a little bit further. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. In terms of what we're using, we're using a three to four inch adapter here for the main part that goes along the fender. And I apologize for the wind. It is horrible out here right now. So it's really, it always messes up with my audio, but um, to some three inch pipe, to a three inch 45 angle, to a three inch, that's 24 inches long, to another three to four inch, which is what we're gonna use to put that little uh, filter. It says it's used to, put, to keep debris and stuff out of there. Um, and then we're gonna be using some flat black paint, a three inch drill bit, a three eighths inch drill bit, four three eighths inch um, bolts that are two and a half inches long with two of these brackets, which we bought two, and they didn't put one of them in the bags and give it to us, so thanks. And then uh, we've got our 3 8 nuts, lock nuts with washers for the back side of the fender. This, which is for our four and 5 8 inch hole saw. And then some self-tapping screws to put through this portion of this bracket to pull this closer to the bracket and keep it snug against the fender. And that should be good. We might not need those self-tapping at all, but just in case we need them, we have them. And we got some metal grinder wheels to finish cleaning up the fenders a little bit more so it looks a little bit better, at least with what we can do. And then uh, that'll be it. We're just today gonna be piecing it together and getting it assembled to where everything will fit and bolts up to the truck. And then in terms of the final product of paint and all that stuff and glued and all that, that's gonna be in a different video because it's gonna be too long of a video. But hopefully we can get this all done and at least get it pieced together the way we want it so it's ready to bolt up.
We got our hole cut over here, if you guys saw this. Now, come over to this side and look at this fitting. That is called good fitment. No big gaps, no ugly, weird, uneven cuts and crap. Um, now you can move it in just a little bit to line it up better. And then push it back out like that. Um, so what we're actually gonna do is take those pipes, and like I said, we're gonna fish them up through here. And now you can get a little bit better look at kind of what it should look like. Um, we actually have some brackets too, I'll show you those. We had two. We had two brackets, but they shorted us one once we paid for it, didn't put it in our cart. Um, so anyway, so we have these brackets, and we have bolts. These brackets are gonna go up against here and bolt this closer to the actual truck itself. So that's gonna be the concept of the snorkel kit. We're gonna get more of it kind of finalized. So far, we're off to a pretty good start. We got it assembled, not at all glued together. We're gonna to tilt this in a little bit. Not touching the glass, but close. I've seen other guys on YouTube make DIY snorkel kits. Hopefully I can reach that. But they were just using like the cheapest little like brackets that like might hold on a little bit, but they're just not good. They cheap out on stuff that you shouldn't cheap out on, like the brackets to hold it in place so it doesn't rattle all over your freaking truck. So this obviously isn't tightened, but when you tighten these in, I'll show you how it's going to sink in and it's gonna pull that snug up against the truck, which I'm okay with. And then if you take your hand right by that like joint and you try to pull and rattle that rigging, can you do that for demonstration? It's obviously, it's not tightened in all the way, but it'll be tight and everything will be glued and it'll hold it all in place actually pretty darn nice. So that is gonna be the DIY intake for this truck. Now, if you look under the hood here too, this, Four inch PVC is four and a half inch outside to outside and four inch in, uh, like the inlet diameter. I don't even know what you want to call it. The inlet is uh, four inch, but the Odeo is four and a half. And then this is just going to tighten down right on that because that was a four inch, four and a half inch outside to outside measurement that was on there previously. So it's going to actually work pretty darn good. And um, when we've got water splashing in the front and splashing up underneath where it normally has airflow right through here. If you look under here, Reagan, down here. If you see down here where it normally pushes air through, water can get up in there if you're like mud bogging and slinging water everywhere. So this is just to try to keep it as waterproof as possible so that it's keeping dirt and mud and water, you know, it's pulling a little bit cleaner air from up here than who knows what's gonna get thrown up in there. Cause also you have to keep in mind, I'm gonna be cutting these fenders down here out more and so there's gonna be more exposure to the actual engine bay because I'm gonna be cleaning up these fenders um, so I can clear the tires a little bit better. So I didn't want that intake to be right down there where much is gonna be getting caked up in there. Like I said, guys, it's a play truck. It's a project truck. It's just for fun. This isn't supposed to be some fancy build, but it's gonna look really good. I promise you just wait till we're done with it. Trust the process. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be cool. If you guys have not done so yet, leave a fat thumbs up on this video. Comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family. Enter to win the 2002 white 24 valve six speed manual Cummins Dually. Information is in the description below. You guys are running out of time to enter to win that thing. Hardly two weeks left and then it's gone. So if you guys want the keys to that truck, go to the website, link in description. Every $15 you spend, gets you another entry to win that truck and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.